Hey everyone, how's it going? Five Finger Shuffle, we are back with another video. And we decided to start up a baby account. So basically, long story short, the guild that we uh, that we started for the main has been full for a while. There's a long waiting list. So we decided to start up a baby account. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, it's going to be completely free to play. And... We're gonna use this to be able to get the other people on the waiting list into a guild and help grow that guild while they're waiting to get into the main guild. So um, hopefully by that point, everything will be ready to go. So we already did the tutorial. We have our selective, selective summons ready. I'm convinced this is gonna be a lucky account. Um, I'll show you why in a minute. But we got our free summon from stage one seven. So let's do that. What did we get? All right, not bad, not bad, I'll take it. The one four summon that we did was the Terranor Guard, which is really nice. I'm all for that. Um, and we got, we have 100 gems. We might be close to 200 by now. So we're gonna do that as well before we do our selective summons, just to see if like there's anything that we don't need. All right, that's actually like a usable artifact, the Cursed Compass. Pretty good for early game especially. And last one, and then we'll do the selectives. All right. So, let's go selective summons. You guys know how this works. For those of you that are new, um, and just checking out the game for the first time. Basically what happens is you get 10 summons. And in those 10 summons, if you don't like it, you can skip and go on to the next 10. So this is our first 10. We're just skipping through because it take forever if we don't. Um, we're, so we're only seeing the four stars and above. So now that we're at the end of it, oh, we have to do the tutorial thing here still. So these are the 10 things we got. Again, for those of you that are new, the these ones, the hexagon shape, are all artifacts. So they're, you equip these onto your units and they give you different skills. Um, and then the regular ones are units. So we already have a Terranor Guard. Corvus, I'm not a big fan of. Clary is really good, but she takes a lot of work. She's not great for early game. And this is a decent artifact, but we're going to roll again. So you can see at the bottom it says 1 out of 30. So we'll summon again. Alright, so when this girl shows up on the right, that means it's a nat 5. Let's see what we got. First one. Interesting. Bizarre. I do not have him on my main account. I have a ton of nat 5s on my main account, and none of them are nature. Uh, let's see what he does. Transfers one debuff, 60% to decrease hit chance for two turns. And then dispels all buffs, making them unable to be buffed for two turns. So a nat five strip, that's kind of nice. It is a 100% strip, which is nice. All right, let's see if we get anything with them. All right, so again, we have the Terranor Guard, but we already have it. There's two of them. Uh, the Labyrinth Cube is nice, but just him and the Labyrinth Cube, we can do better than that. So we're going to move on to the next one. We are, just so you guys know, we are only going to roll this once. So... Whatever we end up going with, this is it. I am not going to be resetting this account. It is a uh, it's a baby account, right? So we'll deal with it as it comes. All right. So we got two four-star artifacts, but we got no good units. So we're going to roll again. All right. So it looks like a four-star artifact.
This one's actually not bad. I don't think I'm using it on my main, but it's still pretty good. Another one. And that's it. It's the second time now we got two artifacts and no four star or five star units. Alright, so we got a four star unit to kick things off here. What's it gonna be? We're looking for a healer. I already got this guy. Hopefully this is not a sign of things to come. I do not want repeat Corvus over and over. So we got two four stars so far and they've both been Corvus. Artifact. Nice. Alright, let's see what this is. The two healers we're looking for are Angelica and Akate's, and there she is, Akate's, right on cue. This girl is amazing. Um, decrease attack, invincibility, and dispels debuffs with two heals. So. I love this girl. She's a four star though. We need to get something else with her that's really good. Um, either a really good four star or an average or above five star and I'll be happy. I think, I think we're not gonna not skip the remainder of these. I don't know how many are left but let's see what we get. Kyrus is actually quite good. Oh that's the end of it. That sucks. When you have to pass on a caught days because there's no damage. And we can't take that because we won't be able to kill anything. We'll be able to survive with the heal, but we won't be able to kill them. That's too bad. Maybe it'll give us a second chance at her. Alright, we got a Sid. He's really good. Um, oh, and a nat 5. Let's see what it is. <laughs> the Sar again. Hmm. So two nature units. Normally I would say if you get it at five that's decent and a good four star to take it and run. We're only seven in. I don't mind the Sar. But I have ML Sid on my main account that I'm using or about to use. So I don't really want to rely on him for like the majority of the game. I know he's really good, but because I plan on using him a lot on my main, I don't. I kind of don't want to kill the fun. Um, and they're both nature units, which I would prefer they be different. And we have no heal. There's just too many things wrong with this. And the rest of it's kind of trashy, so we're going to go on to the next one. It's also super early. We have 23 to go. Hopefully we don't regret that. Um, it's quite possible we're going to regret that, to be honest. It's not very often you get a decent 5 star and 4 star in the same same pull. Funny thing enough, I think I already said this, but I have most of the fire nat 5s on my main and most of the water nat 5s on my main and I have zero nature nat 5s. So I would love to get a nature nat 5, even if it's that guy, I don't care. Um, I really would love to pair him with a healer if we are going to. Or at least a damage dealer. Like uh, Someone I don't have on my main is Shuri, so that'd be fun. I wouldn't mind getting a Shuri. It seems really early to be starting a baby account. It's only, I've only been playing the game for like 11 days now or something. But it's, um, I don't know, I'm committed, so. I'm all in on this game right now. All right, Armin, Armin's actually quite good. So if we can get a decent nat five, well, another four star. Maybe this is a heal? No, Roman. Alright, so that's not going to cut it. We can't just keep those two. Roman's good. Um, he's got a strip. 
It seems to be the theme of this account is giving me unlimited strips. Thing is, early game, like, what do you need a strip for, right? So, ideally, we get a damage dealer, nat 5, and a healer, nat 4. That's not as easy said as done, but we're gonna try at least until at least until we get down to like the last ten. And then we're just gonna have to take whatever we get at that point. We got a couple of garbage ones in a row there with no lasers at all. Alright. Let's see what we got. Hellcutter. And that's it. Couple Terranor guards. I mean, as much as we already have one, it would be nice to have one to imprint him. If it happens to fall that way. Like, I wouldn't summon for it, but. We're on a dry spell. Alright, we're halfway through. They're like, wait, you turned down a nat 5 and a good nat 4? Now you're getting nothing moving forward. Okay, so we got a Nat 5 artifact coming. There's really only one Nat 5 artifact I would consider keeping. I mean, like, if we got two or three crazy four stars right now after it, then I would do it, but we take something pretty spectacular. If you guys saw my video yesterday, I got the Hadoop uh, RNL artifact yesterday. I was so hyped. It was, uh, and I, I mean, I would take unlimited of those because I would love to be able to skill them up, but I'm definitely not feeding the second one. I'm using them both. But yeah, ideally, the only way I would end up keeping an artifact on these as if it was that one because it's just so much stronger than all the rest of them. All right, another five star artifact. No, not that one. Not even slightly what I had in mind. That's actually a good one too, the one we just, that just popped up there. Uh, Aureus. I have this on my tank and it's amazing. It basically helps keep your team alive. No, 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 no. I almost clicked the wrong button there. Alright, we got an F5. Let's start with something good. Ooh, interesting. So right as of right now, he's bad. <laughs> but... He's getting a big buff. Well, he's he's supposed to be getting a big buff. <laughs> Do you settle on him and then be like, oh yeah, by the way, he's not getting that buff now. I'd be so mad. I guess we could start with it, and then if it sucks, we could reset it. Oh, we got nothing to go with it, though. That sucks. I would have actually taken that. If we would have got anything good with him, I would have gone with it. Alright, we have 10 more. Here's another one. Give us a second shot of that Ken, maybe. Ooh, Ravi. This is most likely going to be a skip, because that's what I started with on my main. She's not bad, but just because I already started with her, I don't really want to run the same account twice, right? I want it to be interesting. Especially because I'll probably use it to make some earlier game content. So, <laughs> I know, I just realized what I just said. You're probably making fun of me. Earlier game than 11 days. But keep in mind that this account's gonna progress a lot slower. 
So when my main account is good, the baby account will not be. This, however, is one of my most wanted units on my main account. So we might just settle for this one because it's getting late as it is. Oh, we have nothing with it though. We only have eight to go. There is a Misty in there that we can run as our heal. You know what? We're running out of summons. I really want her because I have no nature net fives on my main and she's really fun. There's also two Terranor. Oh, there's a. Never mind. There's one Terranor guard. Skill up. At least this guy's different. And. Decrease. Increase critical hit damage received by all allies by 8%. This effect is granted more than once. Only the strongest effect is applied. So we could use that on probably our Terranor guard for now. Or Misty. And we could run those two with Isaria. It's going to be a bit of a struggle, but I think we can make it work. I mean, it's only a baby count, right? I think we're going to confirm this one. Let's lock this in. I really want her. She's my most wanted unit on my main account. So that's what we're going to go with. Um, so funny enough, I was going to tell you guys why I think this account's going to be lucky. We got a random transmit stone from the chest that you open like when you first start the game. Like at level one, they give you a chest. And we got a gold transmit stone from it, which I thought was weird. And then... How do we find other? And then on board two five, or sorry, one five and one six, on back to back runs, we got Blessing of Orbis. I was like, are you kidding me? How is that even possible? So yeah, I was like, huh, that's kind of nice. So we got some stuff anyway. We got a head start if we ever need them. Uh, there's only two. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with... Oh, and three. Nice. Alright, so we have one more summon. Imagine if we get something good here. It'd be crazy. Bah. I tried. <laughs> Another one of these guys, of course. Alright, so... I think what we're going to do is we're gonna, I'm going to show you guys what we got, and then I'm going to log off. Um, it is January 1st, so Happy New Year. So we got Raz, who you start with automatically. We got the Terranor Guard, who we're going to build. He's really strong. If, uh, if you're new to the game, consider building this guy. He's got a decreased defense on his first skill. Then he has a passive, increases chance of dual attack by 5%. Combat readiness of all allies increases by 25% when the dual attack is triggered but you can skill that up and get it up to 10 percent uh and then pierces the enemy's weak point with a spear absorbing combat readiness by 40 percent so basically attack bar reduction plus attack bar increase plus <laughs> defense break which is all really really strong so let's actually before i forget oh they're not going to let us put that on him hmm Will he let us put it on her? Of course not. <laughs> we have one four star artifact and we can't put it on either of the people I want to put it on. Well, the good news is we got Isaria. She's a load of fun. I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown of what she does. Uh, throws swords at the enemy with a 35% chance to decrease defense for two turns. Um, if you use the soul burn effect, it increases the chance by 50%, which once she's skilled up, basically means it's a guaranteed defense break, which is amazing. Uh, second skill, resets cooldown of an ally, except for the caster with light energy. So say you're running her with Angelica with a heal. She uses her heal. You can use this skill to reset the heal and then heal again the very next turn. So could be really, really crazy combinations with that. And then attacks with a giant magic sword, dispelling all buffs from the enemy, decreasing defense, and making them unable to be buffed for two turns. 
Just ridiculous. She's so OP. I want her so badly on my main account. Combine that with the fact that I don't have um, I don't have any nature units and she's just crazy. So anyway, thanks so much for watching guys. I really appreciate it. I'm looking forward to playing around with her and getting some new content to show you guys. They won't even let us awaken her. Well, I tried. Uh, have a great day. Happy New Year. Uh, don't forget to jump on a stream. If you are interested, you can either jump into stream and ask. The stream address is twitch.tv slash five finger shuffle. It's right there on the screen. And also, if you want to join the Discord, because we have a nice little community growing over there, um, the Discord will be, the link for that will be down in the description down below. Uh, yeah, so we'll see you all soon. Have a great day and happy new year. Bye guys.